Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So, last year I reviewed these. These are the Ray-Ban Stories. They look like a normal pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, except there are a pair of cameras right here. So I can shoot photos and videos of what's in front of me, hands-free. Even though I think the technology is pretty cool, I think this particular product, it's a little bit scary because they can be misused. Because look at these, they look just like normal pair of sunglasses. So I can, you know, if I want to, I can be a creep and film people without them knowing. But I don't think we will have a problem with these. These are the Super Hexa Vision. They are glasses that also have cameras on them. But yeah, these, you know, obviously don't look like normal glasses. So the technology behind these eyewear is that right here, you have a 50 megapixel wide camera and an eight megapixel periscope zoom lens. I can do five times optical zoom. And right here, you have a Sony micro OLED display that allows you to see the viewfinder. And yeah, some of you guys are probably thinking these do kind of look like Saiyan scouters from Dragon Ball. It's over 8,000! So using the glasses are pretty easy. There's a power button here in the back that you press the power on. And after you boot it up, this screen will light up and then you can begin seeing a viewfinder. This lens can be adjusted so you can have it a little bit more in your face or also tilt it a little bit more to the side so it's more on your peripheral vision so it doesn't block what you're looking at. There's a touch sensitive panel here. If I swipe, I will dial up the zoom. You can shoot still photos or record videos with these. So Super Hex is envisioning these glasses for more than just photos and videos. They are advertising that pretty soon in the near future, you'll be able to use it for AR applications like real-time translation. Okay, so it turns out the translation feature does indeed work. You have to jump into the translation menu, which requires a long press with two fingers on the touch panel. You hold it for one second, then it will jump into the real-time translation menu. After that, you select from the languages that you want to translate to or be translated from, and it actually works pretty well. Testing, testing, can you hear me? Hello, testing, testing, testing. As you can see, I can just speak in my normal tone and my voice, it's being translated to a foreign language in real time. So now I can speak and my words should be translated to French in real time. Is this accurate? Testing, testing, one, two, three. Are my words being translated to French accurately? So the idea is to not translate my own language, obviously, but if I'm talking to someone who can only speak German or Spanish, that person can speak to me and I'll be able to see what they're saying, translate it back to English or Chinese or Spanish. You know, they support Italian, French, German, Chinese, Thai, several different languages right now. So this is actually really cool and really useful. However, there's a small complaint I need to make. So when Super Hexavision sent me this package, there was no instruction booklet to teach me how to use this thing. And you know, needing to long press with two fingers to jump into the menu, it's kind of like a tricky move that I wouldn't have known how to do. I actually emailed people at Super Hexa five days ago asking, hey, how do I use the translation feature? And they didn't respond to me until today. The problem is I had already filmed the video you were watching yesterday. So that means now I have to film this whole new part just to add on, oh yeah, there is indeed a translation feature. I just think if you are working for Super Hexa and you have such a cool feature in your glasses, you should just let the reviewer know right away, either via an instruction booklet or in an email, like immediately let the reviewer know, hey, make sure you try the translation feature. They didn't tell me this, so now I have to do extra work to film this extra segment. And also the conclusion of my video is now gonna be outdated because I already said in the conclusion, the translation feature doesn't work, but it turns out it does work. And other applications too, like it'll be able to identify plants. However, none of these features are available yet right now. Right now, if you get these glasses, you only get the ability to shoot photos and videos. But the good news is the AR features such, such a translation should be coming soon because these already launched in China a few months ago and the translation feature was indeed working in China already. So that means right now, the Super Hexa Vision really is mostly used as just a pair of hands-free glasses. And for the most part, photo quality is okay. It's not gonna compare it to like a Pixel 7 Pro or iPhone 14 Pro Max, but it's definitely usable. Dynamic range and still photo is actually surprisingly good. And for video, I mean, it works, but there's no stabilization at all. So if you're moving at all, the footage will come out very shaky. Like right here, I'm on a bike, and you can see footage is really jerky even though I'm on a bike. So if you were these to run, just forget about it. Footage is gonna be pretty um, hard to look at, but I guess in a pinch, 
they're still useful for hands-free photography or videography. Like maybe if you are a rock climber, you want to be able to record your climbing in first person perspective. This will get the job done. Let me record a test video right now. So this is one tap on the side panel I'm already recording. So this is uh, my dad right here doing the camera work today. Let me zoom in. Five times zoom. Right now I'm in downtown Los Angeles. I'm just gonna do a quick walk so you can see how footage looks. Okay, so you're watching video footage shot of the Super Hex of Vision. Uh, right now it's already like the sun is starting to set, so it's not gonna be the sharpest image. During the day it does look a little bit better. But uh, so that's the Los Angeles City Hall down there. Let's zoom in. So I'm gonna go up to five times zoom. So that's pretty cool, right? I can in real time zoom into things. So I can see the texture of this building, whereas normally I would not be able to. And uh, here's my dad again. So as you can see, photo quality is solid, maybe even good during the day. Video quality is a little bit below par in terms of stabilization, but again, still be useful in a pinch. As for this screen, it is actually surprisingly good. The maximum brightness is 1800 nits, which is really bright. So even earlier during the day when it was quite sunny, I can exactly see what I'm filming. I can like zoom in and look closer. And there are some real world benefits to it. Like the other day, I wanted to park my car and I wanted to see the parking sign across the street. So I just zoomed in with these to have a look without needing to walk across the street to see the exact details. And like I said, there are other use cases like for people who want to film their activities in first person view, like a skateboarder, mountain climber, um, like a cyclist. You know, these are useful even if stabilization is pretty janky. There's a 1000 mAh battery in here that allows the Super Hexa Vision to shoot continuously for 100 minutes. And there's 32 gigs of internal storage in here. To transfer files over to your phone, you have to use Super Hexa's companion app available for iOS and Android. It's really easy to use. A couple of taps will sync the glasses to your phone and then you can just move files over with a couple more taps. But ultimately, Super Hexa has bigger goals than just filming videos and shooting photos. And I hope they get there because if they don't, these are a little bit overpriced and gimmicky for just a pair of like photography, videography, eyewear. Superhex is launching these right now on Indiegogo starting at 399 US dollars. I think at this price, for just a pair of eyewear that can shoot photos and videos, it's way too high. So really, it's only worth it if you think Superhex is going to deliver on the software promises of bringing you real-time translation. and like maybe AR applications like recognizing things on the street, stuff like that. And I don't know if Super Hexa has the software track record to deliver all of that. I mean, they probably will on the translation, but I don't know about all the other stuff. So I suggest you check out Super Hexa's Indiegogo page, do some research on the company, check out some reviews on this product that's already launched in China and then make your decision as to whether or not these are worth it. But one thing I do want to mention is that the Super Hex Vision does come with a prescription lens clip. So if you need to wear glasses, you can prescri prescribe your, your lenses to this and then clip on to the Super Hex Vision. I wouldn't know because I have perfect vision, so I don't need to use this at all, but that's an option. But you can also, also just wear contacts. So yeah, that's about it for this uh, video. These are the Super Hex Vision. They're on Indiegogo right now. I'll have the link in the description below. If you enjoy this content or you want to keep up to date with all the latest gadgets, particularly ones coming out of China, please consider subscribing to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.